Well, what can I say after such a speech? Now you understand why I'm not a politician. I am just a simple human being, an ex-tennis player, an ex-coach, an ex-promoter, and present member of the International Hall of Fame. I don't know how it voted for me and how voted against me to be inducted today in the Hall of Fame. But I thank both parties, so we don't have any dispute. Now, I don't know how Mr. President Smith voted, and I don't know, I'm not going to ask. Anyhow, I believe, without asking that he voted for me to come in, maybe he could make up something from those three beatings that he gave me in the three finals of the Davis Cup and ruin forever my career as a tennis player. <laughs> but saying that, Stan, I thank you, not because you beat me, but what you have become in your second life. Because I always say, always, a champion, being a tennis player, being an athlete, being a football player or anything, is loved by everybody. But once you finish, always is going to be somebody who's jumping higher, who's running faster, or he hits a ball harder. And if that happens, and after you stop, you are still going to be respected, that's exactly what brings you to be successful on the second life. I want to thank my family that for such a long time support me and is present here. Yonion, my son, Karim, Joanna, my daughter, their mother, Sophie, my sister that all my life was next to me. I want to thank my friends that they are all in front of me. I'm not going to number them because they are too many. And I don't want to keep more time because McEnroe set up a five minutes time for these <laughs> speeches after his two hours and a half that he had. <clears throat> George, I thank you very much. I'm really not only pleased, but honored for you presenting me for this introduction. International Hall of Fame, very high name, very well regarded and deserved. So keep it. <laughs> Your theory of member of Hall of Fame, I don't think I deserve it, but I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so saying that, I just want to come one second back to the match against His Royal <laughs> Highness Rod Laver. <clears throat> that year, was the first open ever. All these professional coming that they are from other planet landed in Roland Garros and the first open amateurs with professionals and so on. Who are the professionals? Let's see them. Of course, we knew each other from before. So what happened? There are seven professional and one pure amateur that I let get less money, not because I was any different than them, in the quarterfinals, so I have to play labor. And Rodney say, you know something? I believe that this year I'm going to make the Grand Slam again. Said, Jesus Christ, now you play with the guy that already made the Grand Slam, <laughs> and you are still on the court, what you have to do? But then I didn't know how to play tennis. I never knew, I never learned. But I have two very good pair of legs. And I could run from here to New York and back. So I ran against Mr. Lever from A to Z. And I had two sets to love. And then I was thinking, I said, listen, this guy maybe makes the Grand Slam again. Would be fair for me to beat him. <laughs> I don't say that I let, I give him the match. But I say that he didn't really beat me. <laughs> so it's something between the two of us. They're still great friends. I respect it. For a very, very long time in my book, you are the best player ever. And I don't want to compare. It's impossible to compare the eras. I am very proud and I thank you. I was elected for the first time about with my peers that put me here. 
the guys that I share a piece of bread, sometime, not all the time, even a little bit of butter. I get rich the first time when I won the, U, uh, the, no, yeah, the US Open, or the US Indoor I won it with Nastasia, the French Open, and I get $100 as winning the, the title. I believe at that day, that year, you get $2,000 at Wimbledon, Rodney. And Roosevelt get two, I remember that. And you know what I remember? Because Roosevelt won Roland Garros. No, no. If you won the Grand Slam, maybe you won it, no? Not even the French one. And they say, this is a check today. We hope that next year it's bigger. And it was a little bit bigger the next year and the year after. Only in Madrid. We have in excess of $10 million prize money. Where this game has gone. But the market can afford it. And if I look over my shoulder, I promise you, I don't regret one day of my life being a tennis player, a coach, a manager, a promoter, the way it was. And I'm not jealous. Let them make the tens of millions a year, but they're never going to have the times that we had in our era of tennis players. Thank you. Stan, will you join me and please present Jan with his Hall of Famer blazer, please. I believe they made it for myself and Nastasia together. <laughs> Jan, on behalf of the Board and Executive Committee, we're happy to present this certificate, which signifies your admission into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Congratulations.